Good day mates, I'm back again, after a couple of weeks I think, something like that. I lost control of my bench really, uh, there was far too much going on on there. I'm building the Stug 3, I've got a 40mm um, Bofors on the go that I'm doing for a group build. Um, I had a figure... Uh, I think it's 75 mil figure that was supposed to have been for a Halloween group build in 2020 just never got done I mucked it up I broke something on it tried to repair it couldn't repair it tried to paint my way out of it and it just looked a mess so I sort of abandoned it a little bit so I've got that finished in fact I'll show you it's over here This this was supposed to be for a, uh, one of my Facebook groups, a Halloween themed build. So I've got this figure, but kind of lost interest in it with this. Yeah, so it was resin held on with a tiny little resin thing which naturally broke tried to fix it couldn't fix it tried to paint paint it with the hope of attaching it somehow but mucked it up in the end I had to buy a doll's house one probably looks a little bit big but hey ho it is what it is anyway that's finished go back on the shelf uh, I've got the bow fours which I've been doing that's for another group build that's almost done now figures are on there this is a Bronco model beautiful absolutely beautiful thing to put together so much detail but very very fiddly lots and lots and lots of parts on that gun incredible anyway that's what I tried to do try to get that done and the stug uh, yeah so but I've got the new mini art Panzer 4 with full interior and it's a beast, let me tell you. So let's have a look at it. This is the box, it's a big old box, heavy, lots of sprues in there, five different colour variations, very nice, very nice indeed. Now, you take the lid off, you get a huge bundle they were all in one bag uh, I took them out of the bag just to make this a bit quicker but obviously the rules of science means that when you take such a beautifully packaged thing out of a bag you can never get it back in properly that's why the lid didn't fit properly anyway there's the instruction sheet beautiful highly detailed model 
driver compartment interior accurately represented fully detailed fighting compartment highly detailed interior of turret all hatches can be posed open and closed full ammunition included engine included individual tracks included clear plastic parts photo etch and decal sheet for five options it's a beauty and there are the start of the instructions the paint call outs painting guide 31 panzer regiment 5th panzer division eastern prussia march 45 unidentified unit poland spring 45 And there we go, there's the sprue list. My God, there's some there, mate. I tell you, there's a lot of sprues. I haven't counted them. I haven't looked to see if there's a, there's a count. I don't know how many parts are in it, but it's gonna be hundreds. There's the sprue map. Starts with the lower hull interior engine the ammunition compartment all the ammunition your different three different types of ammunition there there's the engine engine incredible so much detail fitting the engine fitting the uh, ammunition this is going to be a big build still with the uh, lower hull interior look at that three different cams, belts, whatever you want to call them incredible detail Still going on with the uh, <coughs> lower hole interior. There's the tracks, there's a little jig, and you get those little plastic pins that you have to insert, glue them, and then cut them off. So that's pretty much 38 steps just to get the lower hole and the sides on and start the tracks that's amazing there's the mud guards fenders whatever you want to call them spare track on the front extra armor whatever you want to call it More ammo, more ammo. And we're putting the uh, upper hole on, step 69. There's a lot of work, mates, a lot of work. I only hope I'm up to the task. You really do. There's the fire extinguisher with a photo etch holder for the extinguisher. I'm not the best at photo etch, I can tell you that. There might be a few F's and Jeff's flying about in this room when it comes to doing the uh, photo etch. So now we're putting the wheel assembly on and we're up to step 85, 88. And we're still only putting the wheels on. <clears throat> 95 and we're up to putting the tracks on. And the holders for the shirts on. All the little holders for the shirts on. <laughs> There's going to be 
some effing and jeffing in this room. Step 109, and we're finally on to the turret ring. There's all the turret malarkey. Step 120, starting on the interior of the turret. <laughs> oh man. Step 130, we're on to the outside of the turret. And the cupola with the vision ports. <laughs> Step 138, and we're putting the barrel on. This is going to be an immense build. There's the paint call out Vallejo, Mr. Color. AK Real Colors Mission Models MIG Tamiya gives you all the numbers, the color, and the name of the color Krim Weiss, German Red Brown, Black Steel, Dunkel Grau, Brass, Aluminium Red, Gunmetal Brown, Rust Blue, Olive Green, Light Grey, Dunkel Gelb, Khaki White, Wood tire black and chocolate brown and there's the next set of paint guides unidentified unit Germany spring 1945 unidentified unit spring 1945 again and the final one on the back 11th Panzer Division Germany May 1945 I think I'll go for a uh, winter whitewash probably the first one 31st panzer regiment or maybe that one i'm not sure anyway that's the book of words and what a book of words it is did i tell you how many steps there was in total 147 steps in total well, with me it will be about 167 by the time I get messing around clear parts and decals, decals, whatever you want to call them you call them decals is what I tend to call them a little mini art box with the photo etch for the shirts and, and some other bits of malarkey all the little hangers for it probably I think that might be beyond my skills I think I'll, I'll have a go but I think that might be beyond my skills one two three four sprues of the pins that hold the tracks together you put them in, glue them, and then cut them all off. Which will be hours of fun, no doubt. <sighs> Man. Tiny little uh, marking for what sprue it is in that corner there. So, what I usually do is use Tamiya tape and make a little tab on the corner and write it on in, in uh, silver or something that's easily viewable oh looks really good you can feel the bolts protruding on that really nice there's the lower hole turret ring nice bottom of the lower hole plenty of detail on there even though it's on the bottom <coughs> that looks like more stuff for the interior the ammo ammo there's the engine that's the round thing whatever they call that on the bottom <laughs> i think that's to do with the turret turning is it i don't know I'm not an expert, as you can tell. 
more uh, interior malarkey really nice yeah I can't even see where that one is marked what sprue that is I don't think it's even marked what it is so you're gonna have to use the sprue map to match the parts on it I suppose nothing on there that says what sprue that is oh bugger sides of the lower hull beautiful detail you can feel all the bolts and that on there really nice 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 again that hasn't got a sprue number on it there's a bag with all your tracks don't look like there's a lot in there but I guess there is a uh, bit more for the engine fans for the uh, engine deck no that's not marked I don't think they're marked I think that first one was the only one that's got a mark on what sprue it is I don't know if mini art do that all the time this is my first mini art kit so I wouldn't know still going with the sprues there's some for the wheels more for the wheels Some more engine stuff on there this is going to be a labour of love I think this for me more wheels a bit more for the engine it's going to take me a day to mark all these sprues up more wheels we all know how German armour like their wheels don't know what that is S hooks C hooks the uh, ends of the tow cable some tools wire cutters bolt cutters barrel cleaners drive sprockets final drive malarkey some more wheels good grief oh, why put them on one sprue when you can have them on ten there's your ammo for the interior of the compartment There's ammo. They couldn't they put all that really on one big sprue? I mean, is it really necessary to have them all separate? One, two, three, four, five, six tiny little things. They've all got the same armour on them. Armaments, rather. What's that all about? Good grief. I'd like to see somewhere that's got the part count for this. It's going to be hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds, and we're still going. We're still going. And we're still going. Still going. I don't understand why they're using these little tiny things. These ones are not marked what sprue they are. There you go. B9, by the look of it. B, BG or B9. Wheels, return rollers, idlers. All on the little tiny things. 
There's some more parts of the upper hole. That anti-slip, you can feel that. It's really nicely detailed for the uh, fenders. There's the cupola. This looks like a bit more for the uh, hatches. Good grief. Oh look, there's the little jig for putting the tracks together. And there's a loose bit, whatever that is. I do not know. And uh, there's another loose bit there. So, oh, there you have it. Lots and lots and lots of sprues. Lots and lots and lots of steps. Lots and lots of interior malarkey. I'm going to build this next, by the way, once I've finished the stool. This will be next, and I'll try and keep at it and not get distracted by other things. I'm trying to find the uh, barrel. There it is. It's like a one piece of a muzzle brake. So that's all right. Well, there you have it, my friends. The Mini Art Panzer IV. Ausführung J. Late production, 1945. Coming to the end of when the Germans got their asses kicked badly. So, bring it on, I reckon. Hopefully I can do it justice. Hopefully I don't get too stressed out with it. And hopefully I don't throw much stuff across the floor. In temper. Right. I'll catch you later, dudes. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Keep your distance. Wash your hands. <laughs>